everybody, I'm Dick Peterson along with Nate Jones here at Safeco Field for Game 1 of the World Series between the Seattle Mariners and the Chicago Cubs. You know, it's hard to believe it took the Mariners this long to finally make it to the World Series. And hard to believe they've been playing here at this outdoor stadium for 27 seasons now. Incidentally, a reminder that the infield dirt at this fine ballpark is brought to you tonight by Malbec's Nursery. And the chubby and tubby grass looks beautiful tonight under these Sylvania Company lights. I noticed the Cubs outfielders are leaving a lot of room out there in between the Quality Food Center's center field and Right Aid right field. So hopefully a Mariner hitter will be able to drop one right into the gap gap. Or possibly knock one the opposite way right over Microsoft Word third. And of course, remember fans, when the pitcher stands there on the Peter Paul Allman Joy Chocolate Mound, don't forget that the rubber is brought to you by Trojan. And, and that the stretch is brought to you by Five Star Limousines, the wind-up by Myers House of Clocks, and the delivery by Seattle Birth Center. And of course, when that Stuart Anderson Black Angus cowhide baseball crosses the Home Depot plate and a player hits it with his Warehouser wood bat, remember that all singles will be brought to you by the Seattle Weekly personal ads. That's right. And, of course, the leather mitts by the Strangers personal ads. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. It looks like it is starting to rain, and it looks like they are closing the big Hair Club for Men retractable roof. Yes. So, <clears throat> we will return in a moment to Safeco Field. Safeco Field. You know, it still bugs me that they call it that. I hear you. Yeah. I hear you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, it's been a very interesting week in sports. The big news, of course, is because of the problems in the National Basketball Association, the labor problems, it now looks like the Sonics won't be showing up for the first two weeks of the season. Did you see that? That's the opposite of their usual pattern of not showing up for the last two weeks <laughs> of the season. Sort of Going to try something new out there. Sort of More sad news in town. All of the Boston markets in Seattle are closing their doors. Oh, right, a lot of turkey and gravy fans here, you know. <laughs> but it's very nice. You might have seen this. It's very true. The, the advertisements from Taco Time, I don't know how many of you heard those or saw those, that they've invited all the laid-off Boston market employees to apply for work at Taco Time, which a few of them have already started. A little confusion, you know. One of them tried to make a potato salad wrap. You know, it just doesn't work. <laughs> Skills just not transferable. You can't... You can't just go from turkey and gravy and stuff like that to the fine Mexican cuisine we've come to expect from taco time, you know? You want a cream spinach or Mexi fry? I, you know, it just gets confusing, you know? Anyway, in uh, political news, earlier today, in this very studio, on this very spot, actually, it's probably actually about this spot right here, there was a senatorial debate. By the way, it screwed our rehearsal schedule up, so, you know, if things go a little weird. Anyway, anyway, it was the Patty Murray and Linda Smith, they faced off for the very first time in this studio. The debate is going to be broadcast tomorrow at 6 on the big King 5, but first they're going to have to edit it down a bit because there was a few mishaps. We've, we've got a reel of the outtakes, and we thought she might be interested. Take, <laughs> take a look at this. <laughs> Hello and welcome to this 1998 senatorial debate between Republican Representative Linda Smith 
and incumbent Democratic Senator Patty Murray. <laughs> Senator Murray? Oh, I, I, I see the problem. Just a moment. All right, and now let's get started. I'm sorry, that is the uh, metal detector, Mrs. Smith. If I could just uh, have you put your weapon there, Mrs. Smith. I'm going to need all of them. We balanced the budget for the first time in 30 years, but when they tried to cut Social Security, I said no, because we... What was that? What? That sign. What sign? You had a sign. No, I didn't have any sign. Yes, you did. No. Representative Smith, what is, in your opinion, the most pressing problem in this country currently? Well, it would have to be the alien problem. The illegal aliens from other countries coming into this country. No, I am speaking about these space aliens that I have been trying to tell people about for years that have been coming down and abducting people, including myself, and implanting a sensor in my brain, which is the reason that my hair hasn't been able to part right for quite a few years now. She's crazy! Shut up, Senator Dorf! Good evening, folks. How Hello. are we tonight? Oh, good, thanks. Very well, thank good, you. Good, 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 good. I see that uh, Diane has brought your water and wine for you, ma'am, so maybe we'll get started on the appetizers, huh? What would you like, ma'am? Oh, well, you know, I think I'd like to try your artichoke frittata. Oh! Oh, the artichoke frittata. Yes. Oh, that is so good. Oh. That is such a... Brilliant choice! Oh, oh you're going to be happy with that. Good. <laughs> How about you, sir? Uh, gosh, um, I think I'm going to go with the French stuffed endive. Oh, yay! Oh, the French stuffed endive! <laughs> oh, 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 I'm going to be here when you eat that because I want to see your face. <laughs> nice job. Oh, that's a good choice. And you, sir? Yeah, I'm going to try the uh, seared tuna with capers. Okay. <laughs> How about a starter salad, ma'am? Would you like a starter salad? Yes, yes, I would. I'd like your uh, wilted spinach salad. Ay, ay, ay! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! You're going... Oh! Oh, you lucky duck. Oh, you're going to like that. It's wilted. Oh, yeah. But just right. Oh, good. Oh. good. And to you, sir. Well, that does sound awfully good. Oh, it is. Yeah. It is. Um, it is. But I think I'm going to try the, uh, the Caesar. Oh, all hail Caesar. Yes. What a wonderful, 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 wonderful. Wonderful salad! Oh, you're gonna like that! And you, sir? What? Would you like a salad? Uh, yeah. I, uh, I think I'll go with the, uh, cob. The, the cob? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's uh, move on to the main course oh, now. Excuse me, uh, I'm sorry. Could I just have a little bit more water? Oh, Mr. Silly, just a second. <laughs> <laughs> Got it right here. Thank you. This is uh, some sort of artesian. It's more of a nectar than a water, really. It's just wonderful. It's bracing and refreshing. You're going to like that. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Uh, the main course. Excuse me. Uh, could I get some water, too? Okay, now let's talk about that main course, uh, ma'am. Oh, well, I've been looking over the menu, and yeah. it just all looks so good. It does, doesn't it? But, you know, I think I'm going to go with the hickory pork tenderloin with apple topping. 
Oh, glory, glory, hallelujah. You're gonna love the pork we're bringing to ya. <laughs> glory, that's, glory. That, that's, that's what I want too, then. I'll bring one for you, too, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah same, hey, same here. I'll have one. <laughs> Excuse me? I'll have one of those uh, pork things. Uh, actually, he ordered the last one. <laughs> Tough break. That it's uh, really good. Oh, oh yeah, it's good. <laughs> but uh, we're out of it, so have something else you want to go with? Tell you what, uh, uh, what do you recommend? Me? <laughs> the Assyrian barbecued Salmon! Oh, oh, I think I'm gonna faint! Somebody catch me! I'm fainting, I'm just thinking about it, thinking. Oh, oh, oh I love that salmon! Oh, I love that salmon! It is so, so juicy. Mm. Mm. Uh, did you order, sir? What? I'd like some of that Assyrian barbecued salmon. Suit yourself. Well, the Seattle Art Museum installed a new exhibit this week displaying more than 130 Egyptian artifacts, some dating back 7,000 years. The show called Egypt, Gift of the Nile is expected to go over much bigger than last month's exhibit, Skyway, Gift of the Duwamish. <laughs> Researchers say they found the remains of what appears to be a 9,500-year-old dwelling in central Oregon, potentially making it the oldest house in the United States. Either that, say the researchers, or it could be a 15-year-old college frat house. <laughs> Supporters of the old ferry Calacala, now stored in Alaska, hope to bring it back to Seattle by next Friday. That should get it into town just ahead of the ferry that left Bremerton a few minutes ago. <laughs> we'll be back with more of The Late Report after this brief political message. A paid political announcement. My name is Sid Dalrymple. Mr. Dalrymple, candidate for the... to your left. To your left. More, more, more. Okay. That's good. Okay. Go. My name is Sid Dalrymple, candidate for the State House of Representatives here in Washington. In Washington. Whatever. My opponents have criticized me quite a bit. First, for my lack of experience. Second, for my lack of knowledge. And fourth, third, third my lack of integrity. Let me tackle each of those criticisms one at a time. First, what was the first one? Experience. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Unless people like you vote for me, and I actually become a senator. Representative. Representative. <laughs> unless I get that opportunity, how, how the hell am I going to get the experience? Did you ever think of that? <laughs> well, that's just stupid. Move on, Mr. Dalrymple. Secondly, to my lack of... Knowledge. I know. <laughs> the knowledge thing is just a bald-faced <laughs> lie. And I'll prove it when I'm elected to the... 25th district? No. 26? Mm -mm. 36? Wrong. 37? No, no, oh, no, no. Who cares? Why do they have so damn many districts anyway? That's dumb. Yeah. It's too complicated. Right. And when I'm elected, I'll work to change that. We're about out of time here, Mr. Just Dalrymple. Keep your pants on. And finally, to my lack of integrity. Right. Listen. There are different kinds of integrity. The kind I have, you aren't born with it. Um, you have to buy it. It's the other way around. <laughs> wait, wait, it's a, that's the other yeah. way around. You don't buy it. Mm -hmm. Vote Sid Dalrymple, called pathetically inadequate by the Municipal League. What do those jackasses know? And an insensitive, out-of-touch boob by the League of Women Voters. Yeah, a bunch of broads. Paid for Sid Dalrymple Committee, Sid Dalrymple Chairman. Give me a chance. Welcome back.
Well, Rutgers University did a study that shows one in four private businesses in Washington intentionally discriminates against women. The offenses range from unfair wages to installing tampon machines that charge $7 per tampon with the proceeds going to buy beer for the guys. <laughs> Paul... Paul's Bow's first Lutheran church held its 85th annual Ludafisk dinner tonight. Just afterwards, the Paul's Bow emergency room held its 85th annual stomach pumping festival. <laughs> Gideon Israel, a marijuana advocate whose 42 acre Rainbow Valley Ranch near Olympia is a mecca for aging hippies, has agreed to sell the property as part of a guilty plea for drug charges. Authorities say they will wait until Gideon is really high, then offer him a hundred bucks for the ranch. <laughs> Energy Secretary Bill Richardson admitted his department's nuclear waste cleanup record at Hanford, quote, has not been good. However, his second head disagreed, saying, I love Hanford. Coming up, a sad story. But first, clowns. And now, that sad story. A disgruntled ex-employee boarded an ill-fated flight yesterday, spoke briefly with unnamed sources, met with an underworld figure, failed to surprise your analysis, denied rumors of a comeback tour with Pink Floyd, lifted several mobile homes 100 feet into the air, fell three points in program trading, then turned the gun on himself. John? Thank you. Finally, KUBE Radio opened its annual haunted house last night on East Lake Avenue. As usual, the scariest room is the one where they play boys to men over and over. <laughs> this has been the Light Report. Don't go away because we're coming right back. People in Enumclaw are talking about the new Spike Lee movie, Malcolm X. Well, you know, we had a coupon, so we thought we'd try to catch Home Alone 2, but it was full, so, you know. Yeah, you, you know, you think in a three-and-a-half-hour movie, though, they could put in a car chase or something blowing up. Tell me about it. I'm not prejudiced or nothing, but there were an awful lot of black people in that film. <laughs> I didn't get it. It scared the hell out of us, says Enumclaw Sun-Times. I kept waiting for old Burt Reynolds to show up, but he never did. And it would have been a lot better if Garth Brooks had done the soundtrack. I mean, down at the plant, one of the best workers. He's black. And he's a great guy. I thought Denzel Washington was really, really cute. Get in the truck. <laughs> Not nearly as good as his Nike ads with Michael Jordan, says Field and Pasture magazine. Well, we thought it was Malcolm 10, and Police Academy 6 <laughs> was so funny that we thought, you know, Malcolm 10's got to be really, really funny. Yeah. But it, it wasn't. Come see the movie all of Enumclaw is talking about. Malcolm X. Well, that's just about all the time we have. But before we go, I want to let you know that our own Lauren Weedman is appearing in her own one-woman show, Yay Though I Walk, from uh, now through November 1st. In fact, that's where she is right now. So if you'd like to see Lauren, and we certainly hope that you do, call the ACT Theater, the ACT Box Office, at 206-292-7676 for information. And if you'd like to see us, we'll be right here next week. So we'll see you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> children are just one click away from pornography. One click? How do you do that? It always takes me two clicks. Well, no, you got a bookmark. Oh, yeah? Yeah, then you get right in. One click, you get right in. Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah. But not for the kids. Oh, no. no not, not for the kids. Not for the kids. <laughs>